I'm Andy Mulholland with Remax of Rochester and the Handy Andy Realtor team. I want to welcome you to January 2012's edition of Market Minutes. In this video, we'll take a quick look at last month's market and compare it to December of 2010. But first, I want to take a quick look at our tech tool of the month. This isn't anything new for some of you, but we wanted to remind you of our Handy Andy app. This app is by far one of the best ways to start your home search. When you download the app to your iPhone or iPad, you will have a virtual real estate agent with you as you drive through the neighborhoods. The GPS in your device knows exactly what neighborhood you are in, and it shows you all the homes for sale in that area. You'll have instant access to every listing on the market with pictures, details, and prices. You can download this app for free from our website or by clicking in the link below. Okay, so let's take a look at the real estate market right here in Rochester right now. At the moment, there are fewer than 600 active listings. To put that into some perspective for you, this time last year, we had closer to 900 listings. We typically peak somewhere between 12 and 1300. Overall, December of 2011 was a slower month as compared to other months in the year, but we did have 75 new listings hit the market, which was 16% more than December of 2010. Sellers in December saw an average time on market of 177 days, which is the longest we've seen, seen since 2001. The number of homes that saw signed contracts on them was actually up by more than a third over December 2010. So what does this mean for a buyer? Well, it means there are fewer homes to choose from right now and more buyers in the market to compete against when you go to make an offer. For sellers, it means fewer homes to compete with when you're on the market and a steady number of buyers that are coming in. Basic economics say this is a good thing for a seller. However, we are still in a buyer's market compared to previous years and the pros are still outweighing the cons for a buyer. Why you ask? Well, because prices are still down overall, and, and more importantly, interest rates are the lowest they have been in some 40 years. Did you know that a mortgage of $200,000 at our current rate of roughly 4% over 30 years is a payment of $955 a month? But if rates were to rise only to where they were in 91 at 9.25%, at that same $200,000 house would cost $1,645 per month. That's a savings of almost $700 per month and $8,400 a year. And that's only based on 9.25%. In 1980, rates were closer to 20%. If you're expecting rates to stay around 4% for long, you're playing with fire. And the reality is the rates are the lowest we've seen in almost half a century. They will go up. If that doesn't convince you to buy a home now, then nothing will. And I realize some people just aren't meant to be homeowners, but for those of you who are, now is the time to buy, period. You can start your home search today by logging into searchforrochesterhomes.com this is a direct feed from our local MLS and it's set up for buyers that just wanna get a feel for the market. Every home is listed there and it's updated every day. Thanks for watching this month's edition of Market Minutes. Again, I'm Andy Mulholland with Remax of Rochester and the Handy Andy Realtor team, where we are real estate done differently.